नमस्कार मनी मी शरयू एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होली शरयू आई वो ऑल्सो अपलोडेड दिस वीडियो इन हिंदी एंड मराठी लैंग्वेज सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक दम आउट दैन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिल इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग पैच वर्क स्कर्ट आउट ऑफ सम ओल्ड क्लोज दैट आई हैड लाइंग अराउंड आई एम प्रिटी श्योर आई एम नॉट अलोन योर दैट आई हैव अ पाइल ऑफ क्लोज दैट आई डोंट वेयर एनी मोर बिकॉज द कलर इज कॉन बिकॉज इट्स टॉन इन सम प्लेसेज और मे बी द स्टाइल इज आउटडेटेड नाउ और it just doesn't fit you anymore so i think that a lot of people actually throw all these clothes in the trash cans or if you are donating the clothes then good for you but if the clothes are not appropriate for donating uh, because it stained or whatever the reason might be so instead of throwing the clothes in the trash can i think you should just upcycle them make something out of them so that you can wear it again sometimes the clothes also have some emotional memories related to them so we don't want to throw them out but they are just lying around in our closet somewhere and uh, we don't even use them so i think this is a great idea to convert something that you love something that is old enough that you can wear once again and in this video i'm going to show you guys how i made one patchwork boho maxi skirt out of four to five kurtas that i had lying around for probably so many years This tradition actually is very old. Our ancestors used to make patchwork clothes. They used to make rags, which is also known as godadi, razai. They used to make handicrafts. Uh, this tradition is also carried out until now. But somewhere in between the fast fashion, we have forgot or lost our roots to the sustainable fashion that our ancestors have taught us. so i think that we should just take it upon ourselves and start upcycling our old clothes so that we don't tempt ourselves to buy something more and to be honest the patchwork skirt can be styled in so many ways and if you want to watch how i've styled my skirt in various styles then please watch this video until the end because i have shared some styling tips and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up share this video and subscribe to my channel also make sure to comment down below if you have any more requests so without wasting any more time let's just get started this is an old kurta that i'm not wearing any more but i really like the print on this kurta the combination of purple and orange color looks really very beautiful this is another kurta that doesn't fit me any more but the color is very vibrant and the quality of the cotton fabric is also very good This kurta is almost 10 years old and I have so many memories attached to it. I thought of reusing it because it doesn't fit me anymore, but the color of the fabric is really very nice. This is my mom's old kurta that she doesn't wear anymore, and this kurta is very old but it has seam ripped so many places, but the fabric quality and the print is really nice, so I thought of using it in this project. Now let's cut the rectangle pieces. Length should be 6 inches which is going to be consistent throughout all the rectangle pieces and the width is going to vary from 5 inches to 10 inches according to your choice. These are all the rectangles that I have cut until now. As you can see there is the consistency in the length which is 6 inches and there are variations in the width of the fabric. This is Rana. He always keeps me company while I'm working. Isn't he cute? Here is some red fabric that I am also going to use, and this is another old pajama of mine that doesn't fit me anymore and is torn in some places. So I'm going to use the fabric of that pajama as well. As you can see, I've stacked all the fabric pieces side by side together, and now I'm going to stitch all of them by using French seam. To create a French seam, first you'll have to place both the fabrics wrong sides together. Then you'll have to stitch a straight line and trim the excess seam allowance. Then you'll have to fold the seam allowance in the opposite direction again by placing right sides facing together. Then you'll have to again stitch in a straight line and due to this the seam allowance gets hidden which avoids fraying of the fabric. I'm going to stitch all the fabric pieces together of my first layer in a similar manner by using French seam. 
If you want a detailed video of how I stitch a French seam then please comment down below so that I can make a detailed video and upload it here soon. My skirt is going to have total of 8 layers. The first layer is almost done and similarly I am going to stitch all my 8 layers together. I am going to show you guys the measurement of all the layers of this skirt in just a minute. The first layer is done. Now let's assemble all the layers. This is the first layer that I folded in 4 times. This is the second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer, sixth layer, 7th and 8th layer. As you can see the first two layers have different sizes but the remaining layers are of similar size. This is the size chart of the layers of this skirt. The first layer is 17 into 4. The second layer is 27 into 4. And the third layer is 43 into 4. To make the waistband of this skirt, I am going to use a 1 inch elastic band. I am going to make the elasticated waistband in the first layer itself but if you want you can create another band and attach it separately. To create the casing for this elastic, I am going to measure this by folding the fabric like this and then marking it with a chalk. My marking has come to 3 inches so I am going to mark 3 inches all over the first layer. As you can see, I am marking it with the help of a measurement tape and chalk and then creating a line. After marking it with the chalk, I am going to pin it by folding it over two times and then pinning it so that it will be easy for me to stitch. The stitch line is going to be visible on the inside of this coat. Once I've created the casing, I'm going to take the elastic band, attach a safety pin to it and then insert it inside. Once the waistband is done, I'm going to create gathers on the second and third layer of the fabric. Once all the gathers are done, I'm going to attach the first two layers and this is how it's going to look. As you can see, it has an elasticated waistband. After attaching the first two layers, I'm going to similarly attach the remaining layers. But after the third layer, I'm not going to create any more gathers as the length of the remaining layers is similar. To attach the layers, you can either use an overlocker or you can use this finishing hem so that the fabric doesn't fray. Once all the 8 layers were attached, I realized my skirt was a tad bit shorter. So I used an old sari's border to create a 3 inch border for my skirt. And once the skirt was done, this is how I styled it. This is how the skirt is looking. The volume of the skirt is really very beautiful. To style it, I'm using a pink top. And as you can see, the pink color is matching to the pink color of the fabric of the skirt. And that is the reason why this entire outfit is looking very well put together. I got this top from Mindra. And as you can see, this outfit is looking very vibrant. It's looking very pretty. I'm using this beautiful bag to style this outfit. The fabric of the bag resembles patchwork and hence I think it is looking very good. After spinning once more, let's change the top. Now I'm wearing this red color high neck top and something's missing. That's why I'm wearing this black color corset belt to style this outfit and it's giving me princess vibes. For a more different vibe, I'm changing the top to this off the shoulder red color top with puff sleeves. 
once again styled it with the same belt. For my next outfit, I styled the skirt with a red color top. It has a deep V neck with full sleeves. The top is also cropped and I think it's looking very cute. This skirt will also look good with a black top. So here I am. The neckline of this top is really very unique. This skirt will also look good with a basic tank top. To be honest, this skirt is so versatile, I can dress down or dress up according to my choice. Next up, I'm styling this skirt and the same basic tank top with a sheer black shirt. For styling, first of all, I tied the front with some knot and also covered up the collar by tucking it inside. This outfit itself looks very good, I think. But to add a pop of color, I'm going to style it with a blue purse that I made from a sweater. I think this outfit is looking very stylish and very well put together. Moving along, I'm going to style the same basic tank top with a pink dupatta. I think this outfit looks a bit more Indo Western, and to be honest, I love Indo Western outfits. Next up, I'm going to style this skirt with this white top that I made a couple of years ago. Well, not technically a couple of years ago, I made it at least 8 years ago. And to style, I'm going to use this black corset belt and this blue denim patchwork bag. For the last outfit, I'm pairing my skirt with a short kurta that I've tucked it inside the skirt and paired it with a small white dupatta. I know the top and skirt are very contrast to each other, but I think the geometric patterns on them tie the outfit together. I know it seems like Rana is fed up of me, but trust me, he loves me more than I love him. Anyways, I hope you guys love this video and I hope that you like this skirt too. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Until next time, bye!